the infrared leds on blink cameras are an often underrated and unnoticed factor when it comes to motion detection at nights after having some viewers ask me what the fuss about ir intensity is all about i figured i would make this video to properly explain the benefits the drawbacks and everything in between about the ir leds on blink cameras so without wasting any more time welcome to blink blink let's get started IR or infrared imaging is a common feature that exists across multiple smart home cameras to enable night vision recording. This is achieved using the IR LEDs on the camera that light up and project IR rays onto a dimly lit scene when motion is detected. Since infrared is not part of our visible spectrum, we won't be able to see the IR rays using our naked eye. But the footage recorded will be clear and detailed enough to properly distinguish the object in the line of sight of the camera. The settings for configuring the IR LEDs of your Blink camera can be accessed using the Blink app by tapping on the settings icon beside the thumbnail of your camera from the Blink app homepage and then tapping on the video and photo settings. Now, you'll find two options that relate to the IR settings of your Blink camera, night vision and IR intensity. Night vision allows you to toggle the IR LEDs. Toggling it on will turn on the LEDs and toggling it off will turn it off. Setting it to auto will allow the cameras to toggle it on and off depending on the ambient lights. IR intensity allows you to set the brightness of the IR LEDs once it's toggled on. This ranges between three values, low, medium and high. There are plenty of benefits when smart home cameras like Blink have IR LEDs equipped. Speaking of benefits, do subscribe to our channel for more beneficial Blink content like this. IR LEDs on Blink cameras enables it to capture motion even in pitch dark conditions, allowing you to clearly differentiate the object that caused the motion in the first place. Also, as I mentioned before, IR rays are not visible to the naked eye. So, you don't have to worry about a room that's supposed to be pitch black but has weird lighting and hues all over the place. Now, drawbacks do exist when it comes to activating IR LEDs on your Blink camera. For one, it does consume a lot of battery. Since most Blink cameras run on AA batteries, it can cause a hit to the overall longevity promised by Blink. I recommend that you set your IR intensity to low or medium and enable night mode only if you really need it, that too in auto mode. Also, since IR is not a visible light, no colors will be captured, so all your recordings will be in black and white. This is yet another reason as to why you should set your night vision setting to auto as setting the IR LEDs to always light up might result in recordings devoid of color all the time. If IR LEDs on your Blink camera are not working, then it could either be an issue with the communication between your Blink cap and the Blink camera or it could be a hardware issue. So check your internet connection status and make sure that your sync module and your camera are showing as connected on your Blink app. You can also try placing your cameras in a dimly lit room and check if the IR LEDs light up on the camera. If they still don't work, you can try performing a power cycle on your Blink cameras to reset any misbehaving charges that might have been hindering the IR capabilities of your Blink camera. You can power cycle your Blink camera by removing its batteries and popping them back in after a minute or two. If you're still facing issues, I recommend that you contact Blink support and get your issues sorted. And that's pretty much all I have for you in this video. Do check out our in-depth article from our website blinkblink.com for a more comprehensive read. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more smart home content.